so now we have to open up our this project in Xcode in order to set the version so come back here to your project folder AR measurement app and then you will see this uh, example inside the example we have iOS and we have this runner.xcode project double click on it trust and open and it will open it in the xcode as you can see it here okay now what we need to do is we need to simply click here on this runner project okay and then you will see this display name so let's set the display name for this which will be AR measurement app AR measurement app then the bundle identifier we can say com.cc dot your username for example my username is Muhammad Ali and then your app name we can simply write here AR measurement app okay just like this click on sign in and capabilities and from here you can click on this team and select your team personal team okay in my case it is Muhammad Ali Zab okay just like this and once you do this now we can simply close the Xcode okay come back to the Android Studio and come back here to the Mandar dot and now instead of when we say home container this one okay you can see here just remove this and we can say AR for the time saying come back here and just copy this AR measurement screen and paste that name here okay also make sure to import the AR measurement screen dot dot just like this now before we go ahead come back here to the AR measurement screen and here we forgot to pass the parameters to our function this one add anchor if you expand this we have call here this function which is add plan and basically add plan needs to receive two parameter as you can see the controller add kit controller and AR kit plan anchor okay so let's just pass this parameter to it the first one is the AR kit controller comma the second one is the anchor and now what we need to do as well as uh, after this here you can see in the own AR view created when we say uh, add anchor when we call this add anchor function here you can see this dot AR kit controller just retype this okay which is the second line which is this one AR kit controller and you will see the color of it change okay because it is now imported just like this AR kit controller because this dot AR kit controller is basically our our this AR kit controller instance not the function this one okay so anyways let's just retype this also this dot AR kit controller and also I am really sorry I forgot to add a text widget here okay I just directly write the text here okay for the app bar so anyways make sure to write here I mean using the text widget material dot dot okay inside this we can say distance tracker app okay so make sure to use a text widget I forgot to add this and now after this what we need to do we need to simply right click on this iOS click on open in terminal and we have to run this command which is the first one is pod d integrate press enter and then we have to run pod install and yeah that's it so simple and so easy now we are ready to test our app and come back to the your project folder okay example iOS we have to test the app now from the Xcode okay so double click on it runner.xcode project and yeah it has been open in Xcode and now simply click on this runner project everything is okay now 
and now let's just simply select our iPhone from here in my case it is my iPhone so it's saying Muhammad Ali iPhone and then click on play button so it is now going to install the app on our iPhone for the first time when you install any iOS application on your real iPhone you will see this pop-up which will say that uh, you have to basically its profile has not been explicitly trusted by the user so you have to trust this developer I mean this user from your iPhone it is so simple and so easy all you need is just click on ok ok and then on your iPhone you have to simply go to the settings ok in the settings we you have to simply scroll and we have this option general okay which you can see here this general option just click on this general after clicking on general you will see these options okay so if you scroll here here you can see this option device management just click on this device management and then after that you will see this apple development okay and here you will see your email okay which is your developer account so you have to simply click on this and then you will see this trust Apple development just click on it and you will see this pop-up you have to click on trust button and yeah that's it now we are ready to test our app so I am going to the Xcode and simply click on first of all make sure that your iPhone is selected from here okay and then click on this play button and it is now going to install the app on our iPhone So as you can see our app is now running and now I'm going to simply measure the keyboard of my I mean the mouse pad of my laptop as you can see on your screen. So I will choose first point and second point and here we go. Here you can see it is 10.98 centimeter. Now let's choose another point. Here you can see 6.89 and then let's click here another point which is 11.24 centimeter and let's choose here here you can see 7.2 centimeter and simply you can simply start choosing points so that is really cool and really nice and you can move your camera I mean your AR camera and you will see these points hope you can see it